Welcome to another edition of the Truth Zone. As always, this is your host, Truth Seeker here. And there's a lot of strange things happening recently when it comes to the astrological side of things. Case in point, the two moons uh, and also the ring of fire that just recently happened. Now they are saying there was another massive solar flare right here. October is off to a hot start. The sun unleashed a massive X-class solar flare, the strongest of its kind that has the potential to plummet our planet with a powerful geomagnetic storm this week. The supercharged sunburst erupted from sunspot AR3842 on Tuesday evening. So, as of the time of you watching this, this happened on Tuesday evening, and they're saying that we could potentially see a solar storm hit Earth by Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, when you are watching this video, it may already be Friday, it may already be 4 p.m. Eastern Time whenever you're watching this. As of the time of this recording of this video, though, it hasn't happened yet. And even right here, fallout from this outburst caused a temporary radio blackout over large swaths of the Pacific Ocean, notably Hawaii. So again, this is another strange event going on with the sun. And they are saying that it could trigger a G3 class geomagnetic storm. And right here, these phenomena have the potential to impact navigation systems, power grids, and even satellite communications. So once again, they are putting it in the people's minds about a potential blackout happening at some point in time or the other. Now, am I saying this event going on with the sun currently is going to cause a blackout? No, I am not. Am I saying that this event that allegedly happened with the sun is even real at all. I'm not saying that either. I will leave that to you all to decide because now they are saying that we could see northern lights again across the United States. And that's not normal at all. How, you know, places that have never experienced the northern lights can now see the northern lights. It's almost as if they are preparing and setting the stage for their Project Blue Beam event in the near future. At least, that's my take on this, because they could even use all of these things going on with the sun as an excuse. Oh, now we're seeing the uh, fake alien invasion, which will lead to the new order system. I mean, that's just my honest opinion, because... We keep having a lot of events in the sky recently. A lot of them. So, who's to wonder what they could be planning next when it comes to sky events? One has to wonder what is next to come. Who really knows? Now, the blackouts they are talking about, though, is to do with radios. Um, but, seriously... They are putting it in the people's minds, in the back of their minds, that this is normal. Because this is not normal at all. It really isn't. And they can blame it on whatever they want to, but I believe there is something more at play here. And people really need to question what's going on because this is another thing surrounding the Northern Lights. And one has to wonder... If a certain company that starts with the letter H, that's what you want to call them, a company, is behind this with the Northern Lights stuff, at least. Who really knows? Because, in my honest opinion, the way they portray space is not the way space truly is. That's just my take on this. That's my opinion on this. You may have a different opinion entirely, but a uh, spoiler alert, I don't think that we live in a globe, and I'll just leave it at that. But things are getting more and more interesting by the day. You have this stuff going on with all of these sky events. You have the stuff 
over in the Middle East. We have the port strike. All kinds of things are going on all at once. And it makes you wonder, what else is to come? I know I say that a lot, but it just seems like every single day there is something more crazy going on. And the reason I brought up the H company is because back in May, they held a uh, campaign for the Northern Lights, basically. And then I believe that's when the Northern Lights happened. Right around the same time they were holding this uh, research campaign, quote unquote. So again... You tell me what is going on with all of this, but it just seems very, very, very strange. At least to me, it does. And again, maybe you have a different opinion entirely, and that's fine. I don't want any uh, body having a hive mind. You know, I don't want people feeling they should just all think the same way or anything like that. Everybody has a different opinion. Everybody does. Everybody has a different take. If you agree with me, that's great. If you don't, hey, that is your right. But all I'm doing here is trying to bring truth to all of this stuff going on. Because in my honest opinion, things are just very, very weird and very, very strange anymore. And none of this stuff really adds up in my honest opinion with all of these strong solar flare events and then warning of possible blackouts and how it could potentially even affect the grid in the future. It just seems as if they are setting the stage for a major event because you even see all of the cell phone stuff going on, like with Verizon, for instance. And even right here, sun releases strong solar flare. The sun emitted a strong solar flare and it peaked on October the 3rd. So it's just worth paying attention to because you never know what these people are up to, what these people have planned, but things are just getting stranger and more and more weird by the day. As always, I do ask that you would please comment down below, smash that like button so this video gets out to more people so it gets into the algorithm. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. And God bless you and your families. And as always, this is your host, Truth Seeker, signing out.